Hey, so today is, um, let me think here, it's Tuesday, July 2nd of 2024, <clears throat> and um, I just left our neighbor's house. They needed to borrow some wire cutters, so now I'm actually headed back over to our house. I am dying of thirst. I'm going to get something to drink and then do our recording for the day. Um, I love you guys so much. So much. Um, the more, actually, I'll, I'll pick this back up in just a second. I'm going to go inside. All right. Got a little bit of something to drink. I actually um, got some energy drink. I love our new energy drink that I got. I'm not sure if I showed it to you guys. <clears throat> but I don't have three hands. I'm holding the camera with one hand and um, and then the Hebrew word book with the other hand. So <laughs> I can't uh, bring my drink outside, but I'm actually going to walk around the back because I think I'm going to sit in the shade. It's really hot out. I think it's 97. So it probably, you know, like on the weather thing, I think it says that it probably feels closer to 110. Maybe 106. <clears throat> so. Alright. Oh. There's some bugs out here. <clears throat> but. What I started to say. Is that. You guys are awesome. I am so proud. Of you Warren and Claire. Um, <clears throat> some days. Some day. You're going to have an incredible testimony if it's something you keep to yourself or a book that you write someday. <clears throat> um, I've been, I, I'm working on a project right now and I was going back through some court records and police records and <clears throat> because they are, um, um, not so they're not on public record well some of them are actually in the public court system but some of them are under seal and some of them <clears throat> are I guess even farther than that but as I'm looking through all these records between the police records and the court records um, I I had to spend a lot of time with the Lord in prayer last night after I went through them in detail yesterday. <clears throat> but what I really got from it was one, wow, how big, um, in my opinion, they screwed up, they messed up. Um, all the people <clears throat> that were aware of all of the records and the evidence. And the second, but probably the most important thing was just how brave you guys are. Um, like if I was you at your age and going through what you have, <clears throat> like all of it, from, the, from all of the experiences, all of it. Um, I, regardless of allegations or accusations being true or false, um, you guys know the truth. I know the truth. God, most importantly, knows the truth. Um, he sees everything. He knows everything. <clears throat> but apart from all of that and looking at it in the bigger picture of things in how you guys are overcomers, truly. You, eight years old, Clara, you were eight years old. Warren, you had just turned 12, so you might as well have been 11, right? <clears throat> and, you know, I don't know much about Clara and what's going on in her world, and I don't know much about what's going on in your world, Warren. <clears throat> but I think about 
what could have happened and what could have been, I guess, still. And I am, this is all God. This is all God. That Warren, like, uh, again, I don't know much about what's going on in Clara's life because I'm not privy to that. I am her mother who raised her and when I carried her for almost 10 months, full nine months, you know, more than that. <clears throat> but raising you guys and being the primary parent who taught you things, thank God, thank God that was able to lay a foundation for you. But I think about, I look at like your vlogs, Warren, and I know that, well, I don't know, but sometimes especially what we put out in social media isn't 100 percent of the truth of what's going on in our heart or in our own ha family in our home <clears throat> in fact most people don't even have an idea of what truly is going going on behind the closed door or going on after mom goes to sleep or going on after all the lights are off um Everything, <clears throat> a lot of people don't know the truth. But the incredible thing, what I guess I'm getting at here, is Warren and Clara, and, and Wyatt, I truly believe this. Wyatt did not become his, and, and Wyatt, you are not what your circumstances are. You are not that. You are not, I'm not even going to say the word, you are not that. God did not create you to be that way. The circumstances warped and changed who God made you to be. And you still have a full-on opportunity to reach out to God and say, I need you more than ever. And maybe you have, I don't know. And any person who is in this situation, maybe like Wyatt, but maybe hasn't been caught. Um, God's mercy is so good and it's new every single morning and we may be groomed to think a certain way to do certain things and maybe that is all we know how to be but God said no I'm sending my son Jesus Christ to wipe all of that out to wipe out the lies and deceit of Satan and I'm going to show you a new way a new way of to who I created you to be that you are an overcomer. That you don't have to live by the ways of Satan and the world. And um, I know I'm like getting off on a tangent. I actually did not intend any of this right now. But I can say, <clears throat> after looking at, and I'm not speaking to, well, I mean, I guess if Warren and Claire want to take this on as them, I was more or less speaking to Wyatt and the adults who have chosen certain paths. But... And, and I don't believe that they chose this path on their own. I really, really don't. Because if they are a child of God and, and they profess to, to know about Jesus, then their heart was already created in God. And Satan stole that away with whatever it was that he did. He lied to them. He deceived them. He hurt them, usually almost always as a child. And it warped a child's mind to think, this is who I am. This is the only thing I'm ever going to be. And I don't know any better. And maybe even programmed in a way of like, maybe even just waking up at night and becoming somebody else. Um, but I don't believe that's God's purpose. Satan has been the deceiver of deceivers. He is a lie. He is such a thief. And I would say he is the worst parent alienator he is absolutely a, a alienator he is alienating God's children from him he's doing it through lies and deceit manipulation through shame and guilt and the sad thing is is that many of these children of God will die and be forever separated from a God who loves them so much and they'll never know it they'll never feel it maybe they'll get a glimpse and Satan will be so good at deceiving them to make them think that it's not true. And and that 
that kills me inside because I know being a parent and being separated from your child is the worst thing in the world knowing there's nothing you can do except pray and actually it's not except prayer is the most powerful thing and God is up there in heaven he's not going to override our free will he's not going to say you know what forget it Satan and, and push Satan out of the way and steal back his child he he allows us to make the decision but Satan is deceiving so many of God's children and alienating God from them with his lies and deception. And that is, it, it's crazy wild how much parental alienation here in the, in the natural realm of what is going on, even with me, myself, against you, Warren and Clara, of how this parental alienation alienating me or alienating you guys from your your birth mother who loves you guys so much is exactly the same thing as what satan is doing to god's children i am not comparing your father to satan at all in fact it's not your dad it's not him he may think that he's in control satan is in control and I wish people would get that. I wish people would understand that. You know, all throughout Bible history, it talks about um, God allows um, certain things to happen. And he'll actually use circumstances to get us to change our mind, to change who, who the enemy has created us to be. And I look at this circumstance and I'm like, of course. Of course, this is just like Satan. To make us think that we are fully in control, and I'm talking about the alienator, alienators, those who are actually behind the deception of removing a good parent from a child. Satan makes us believe it's completely the parent in full control of removing the child from the other parent when it's not. Satan is just getting them to believe it. Instead, Satan is up there going, T -t -t -t, and he's scheming to destroy the alienator, the father or the mother, whoever it is, and he's scheming to destroy the children. And ultimately, he's after the children. He's after the kids because, warning Clara, your age, your generation, there will be, I, I absolutely 110% believe this, there will be a, a revival, and I know a lot of people speak of revival, but it will be led with repentance. That somebody, and my guess it has something to do with sexual perversion, somebody, and it felt like the Holy Spirit was showing this to me a while ago, somebody will lead a, a whole movement of repentance. Repentance of sexual perversion repentance on behalf of themselves themselves and releasing forgiveness to the perpetrators and Satan doesn't want it so he's doing everything he can to stall and stop it because once that happens then there will be and maybe this is the great deception because we were told there would be a great deception in the end days maybe it's that um, I, you know, I don't know, but I can say that, like, all it takes is one person, one person to come forward and say, hey, this happened to me as a child. I became this. Um, maybe they didn't want to. It was a lesson they wanted to, but somehow because of generational sins, I became this and I am getting deliverance and I am releasing it. I am no more. I'm turning from it. And I repent, Father God, I'm so sorry. And I forgive and I release those who are behind this, who hurt me as a child. Like, I can see that happening. And like I said, all it takes is one person, one child, and everyone else. It's just like, you know, everyone will, will flock to see a fire right? Like you'll see a fire burning and warning Claire, you guys probably remember this when a fire is burning, at least for me, I would want to go see it. 
Um, I used to be a firefighter in my 20s, so it was something that I, it's fascinating to me. Not in an evil, weird way, fire is just fascinating. And we would drive to go check it out and find out where is it, what's going on, is everyone safe? And um, it's the same thing. And and here's another thing. And okay, to talk about the repentance and forgiveness. Um, when one person does that, everyone else will be like, I guess I can do that. Oh, I guess I can do that. Oh, I should do that. Oh, this is something I've been hiding for decades. And I am so sick and tired of hiding it. Um, and many will begin to follow in the footsteps. I, I have dreams and visions of so many thousands of people repenting and offering forgiveness. And, you know, it's like a, a sheep. Um, when a sheep begins to go after its, um, its shepherd, all the other sheep follow. And, and that's what, that's what I believe is gonna, is gonna happen and will happen. People will wake up and realize, I have the empowerment of God's grace, which that's really where it is. When you receive Jesus Christ, when you receive the Holy Spirit, and that's key, it's the Holy Spirit. People can believe in Jesus, just like the demons. People can know about Jesus, just like the demons. But when you receive the spirit that Jesus left behind and you are filled with the spirit of God, there's nothing that, that can tame you. Like, and that's why people pray in tongues. They prophesy in tongues um, because the Holy Spirit is so full inside you. You can't keep it inside. You can't contain it. And that is one of the attributes is, is the fruit, the spirit that comes from it. And I've talked about the fruit of the Spirit before. Um, I, I'm talking about this right now because I, I look at everything, all these, okay, the court records, that includes all the police records, everything. There was 9,700 and some pages that got sent over from the lower court to the appellate court, the Oregon Supreme Court. It was sent over. That's a lot of pages. And so as I'm going through it, I'm like blown away at how, how did people miss this? How did people miss this? I mean, I have my own theories and I'm not going to go there, but I can say Warren and Clara, you are the bravest kids that I've ever met and ever known. You guys are incredible. You are amazing. And even if we take out all of the allegations out of this, what you've gone through and to have your mother taken away from you and, and for you to be amazing, like Warren, you and your vlogging, and I'm sure that's a release, and Clara, whatever it is that you are doing, you guys are just even to be alive in itself is incredible and amazing. You guys are loving kids, kind kids, forgiving kids. You don't live, or at least I, I'm not aware, you don't live with um, revenge and bitterness and hatred. Oh God, I pray that you don't. I pray that you don't. I pray that you see that God has a bigger plan in all of this. But looking at it, looking at all, and, and I'm only like 2,000 pages into this, I am utterly amazed and I'm so glad that I'm representing myself, that I am not, I don't have an attorney, that I am my own attorney, because I, I don't think that I would know a lot of these things. Um, I just don't, I don't think I would have been able to see these things, which then it makes you wonder how many parents don't see the truth or don't know the truth. Again, it's the parental alienation, but ultimately it is God. God is the one who's being alienated from his kids. Even the alienator who thinks that they're in full power and control. The alienator is being alienated from God. The one who loves them so much. Who sent his own son to die for them. Satan is alienating that alienator from God. 
and they're living in deception and one day they'll take their last breath open their eyes and unfortunately um, the deception will continue probably in a land where they didn't think they belonged or should have gone and how many people have died gone to heaven and gone to hell and they all come back saying I shouldn't have been there the whole time I was seeking I shouldn't be going here I shouldn't be going here I shouldn't be here and yet they were and God gave them another chance but who who are we to know if God's going to give anyone a second chance most likely he won't it's going to be the chances that he gives while we're still here on this earth and my heart hurts for God's children, all of them. I pray for all of them. I pray for everyone who is involved in the situation with, with you guys, Warren and Clara, and with Wyatt and myself. I pray every single day. And, like, we're not talking just, like, a minor prayer. We're talking a heartfelt cry with emotions. It's taken years to get to this point, but my heart hurts. It's a dis it is the greatest deception of the enemy to make this alienator, make these people think they're in full control when it's Satan who's using them as a puppet, only to discard them when he's done. And it, it breaks my heart. I love you guys. Um, that actually, this was not my intention to talk about. I actually was going to talk about vomiting. Um, and maybe I'll upload another one or I'll do it tomorrow. Or may maybe this is just what God wanted me to talk about. But um, actually, I will. I'm Well, no, I'm going to end in a prayer. I feel like the vomiting... Um, the emotional route to being sick and vomiting, there is a lot um, tied into what I've just got done talking about, but I really feel like this is a moment to pray. Father God, Lord, we come to you in the name of your Son, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. Father, we invite the Holy Spirit to be present with each one of us who is watching this video right now. Lord, we, we stand in repentance. Lord, we repent and we renounce anything that we have come into agreement with Satan and the kingdom of darkness. Lord, as Paul said, there is a thorn in my side and I can't get it to go away. It just keeps bugging me and bugging me. Lord, it's such a reminder to know it's bugging us because we cannot do this alone. We cannot do it in our own strength. Lord, we have to empower, we have to be empowered through your Holy Spirit, through Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit to who Jesus left behind. So Lord, I ask for the empowerment of your grace. Yes, grace, Lord, thank you for your grace that our sins are covered. But thank you even more for leaving us the Holy Spirit and the empowerment of grace to overcome that to which we have asked for forgiveness. Lord, as the enemy comes at us making us think and believe and say and do things that we do not want to do, Lord, we ask that you empower us. Lord, I ask that you release even more, even more of an empowerment of your grace for us to overcome our circumstances, overcome the sins of the past, maybe even our generations, overcome the things to which we do not want to do but we keep on doing lord remind us that it is not in our own human strength but it is in the empowerment of your grace which is you holy spirit lord empower us like never before lord i ask that you shine your face upon all three of my kids wyatt warren and clara lord show them the empowerment of your grace to overcome Lord, thank you. I ask that you bless them immensely. Lord, not only for the past, but the present and the future. Lord, crown them with your glory. And Lord, as I continue to pray, may your will be done in this situation here on earth as it is in heaven. And please, Lord, reunite me with Warren and Clara soon.
We thank you, Father, in your name. Amen. I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.